the um, tent for checking in. For spring, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, so we're doing it in the gym. Okay. So, um, basically, what, it's a 15 minute wait. Okay. So you'll go through. If it's a negative, you'll be fine. Okay. If it's a positive, then you'll get tested again. Okay. But we'll have to find a place to quarantine. And right. Two or three days. If it's wow. two positives, You'll be asked to leave camp. You won't be allowed back. Oh, yeah. Wow. You good? Yeah, sure. So you're fine now. Yeah. <laughs> There's, yeah. Okay, let me point that. So what's my still? Hey. Good, thanks. How are you? What's your name? Esther. Do you need my ID? Okay. No. All right. What's your last name? Olabi. C-O-L-A. O-L-A. Wait, do I do it by myself? Okay. Oh, I mean, I can awesome. Do it if you want. I've yeah. done it myself the last okay. test, so I like yes, that. <laughs> okay, so I just. Done, you okay. Have to just it on. So I'm just waiting, guys. T-H-E-R, yeah. So you'll just keep this wristband on. Um, All right, okay. Okay. So that's the tennis court. I think it's tennis, because y'all, I don't play sports, so I don't even know what is what. through all the check-in process and everything so now I'm going to my dorm and I'll try to show you guys around as much as possible so um yeah sure this place looks familiar to you guys already <laughs> but we're headed over to my dorm now and uh, we'll see my dorm is called Anna Smith and I'll tell you guys more when we get there because I'm driving. And this place, by the way, is Boone Tavern Hotel. It's a historic hotel, like it's really, really major in history. Like a lot of, I guess, famous people, whenever they come around here, this is where they stay. Um, it looks like, you know, it's like vintage and everything. So quite fancy and it's quite expensive too. <laughs> and they have like a restaurant and all that. And a lot of students usually work at the restaurants during um, like holidays. And even during the semester, depending on your job position, but a lot of students like to work there during the holidays because like, you know, if you like restaurants and you like to get tips and things like that, you know, I've heard stuff. So anyways, yeah, that's Boone Tavern. Mm -hmm. Show you guys before I go inside. That's my dorm and interestingly i'll just tell you guys that this is actually a freshman dorm and this was the dorm that i stayed during my freshman year you know i'm feeling very sentimental about it so i don't know there's a lot of things that changed this semester due to covid so this dorm is actually not a freshman dorm anymore for this semester it's going to be a like an upperclassman dorm but doesn't matter because it's the same dorm that I stayed in my freshman year, and so I'm loving it. Esther? Yeah. Oh my 
my gosh, I'm so excited. <gasps> this is literally <laughs> like, this is like a, an apartment. <laughs> oh my God, it's massive. Are you serious? Oh my God. Oh, and it's just me. Yay, I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Oh. Guys, okay, wait, let me show you what. Look at my room. First of all, this is so big. Look at the closet. It's just me, okay, because I don't have a roommate. And this is a corner, like. <laughs> just look at that corner. Like, this is enough to literally put all my stuff. But then, like, guys, oh my gosh, it's massive. And then. I'm in love with this closet. This is supposed to be for two people. Okay, let me put the camera to my face so you guys can see me. So, this room is supposed to be for two people. Every room is supposed to be for two people. Except, you know, during COVID and like if you're an RA, if you're an RA, which is like a resident assistant, which is also like students, you get a really big room because you get to pick your room and all that jazz. But this is literally just me being like, I guess lucky we can say. Um, just appreciate this closet first of all just look at that beauty it's supposed to be one side for one person and one side for the other person but I have both sides to myself and I have both beds and I have everywhere and I have this little corner and the fridge so also I wanted to mention that usually you don't have a fridge in every dorm you only have fridges in freshman dorms Right, because when you're a freshman, you're coming in, you know, they're trying to make you feel good. So every freshman dorm has a fridge. That's why I didn't bring any fridge. Usually I have my own fridge like this that I put in my room. But when you're a freshman, they have everything there for you. And then we have this cute little thing here. How nice of them. <laughs> we have hand sanitizer and then masks. Sweet, so sweet. I have a lot of masks already. I think that's a temperature checker, like a thermometer right there. I don't know. I'll check it later. It's probably a thermometer because I know they want us to check our temperatures and so stuff. So let me make sure everything is good in the room. And then, because um, they sent me a document, I have to sign and say that the room is fine. So, I mean, it looks good so far. Um, and then I'll bring you my stuff. Distancing. So guys, this is the kitchen. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. I don't think so. There's nothing in the fridge. Well, I don't know. Let me just... I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. I really do not know. I don't know, I'm just gonna put my stuff in here. 
because I don't know with like the COVID protocols if I'm supposed to be here right now. But my stuff needs to stay fresh. So before I swap them out, I think these are all frozen stuff here. Okay, that's there. Guys, look at me. Look at how I look already. Just one day. I look so tired and drained. Anyways, that was the last batch of things. So, um, I'm going to try to show you guys around the um, bathroom. Let me show you all right now. guys can you see how red i look especially my nose i was just coming from outside and it's pretty cold so um i'm finally in my room this is about 7 p.m like exactly 7 p.m now i'm just trying to settle in a little bit i'm not really doing a lot of stuff tonight because i'm tired so i would probably just like wipe my bed and um you know wipe my bed lay it and then sleep then tomorrow I would like go through everything else and actually like arrange my stuff. I finally said goodbye to my car because I don't know when next I'm gonna be allowed to drive it, and that's very scary because it's like are you even supposed to leave your car out there for that long without actually driving it? I don't know, but I have no other choice at this point. It's been a really long day, all of my body hurts, but I know when I sleep, I'll feel better. You guys, I already look so tired, like, isn't that crazy? And then my hair, I'll tell you guys the story of my hair later. <laughs> it's not like it's bad, but I'll explain why I have this hairstyle <laughs> to you guys later. Um, but for today, we're gonna move that story till another day. All right, guys, I hope that this vlog will be fun to you, and I will see you all in my next video.